Here in Chukotka, on the coast of Russia's far northeast, an idea was born, an idea that brought together the interests of local indigenous people and the conservation organization WWF. For several years, increasing numbers of polar bears have been coming into towns here, posing a danger to local people and to themselves. Since 2000, three people in Chukchi villages have been killed by polar bears. A local biologist believes the bears are coming into towns more because global warming has shrunk their normal sea ice habitat. In response, Chukchi hunters worked with WWF to create the Umki, or polar bear patrols. These patrols of local people watch for and intercept bears. They use long sticks to drive the bears away, averting a more deadly conflict between bears and humans. Some bears, like this one, get the message without the sticks. The Umki patrols are now also monitoring and protecting walrus haulouts on shore. These animals are ice dependent too, resting on ice near shore where they can dive for their favorite foods such as clams. Global warming has eaten away at the summer ice, driving the walruses on shore. When walruses are on shore and they're disturbed, they stampede for the safety of the water. Over the past few years, hundreds of walrus in Chukotka and Alaska have been crushed to death in these mad dashes. The patrols in Chukotka are trying to minimize disturbances to the haulouts and reduce these needless deaths. As changes in the Arctic climate drive change to animal habitat, it has become increasingly urgent for animals, the peoples of the North, and conservation groups to adapt also. WWF thinks part of the answer is sharing local experiences with adaptation around the Arctic. That is why we have brought three members of the Umki Patrol here to Alaska. The patrol members visited four communities, sharing conservation stories, in the global warming that affects the lack of ice, experiences, and cultures. In the future, we hope to help out with more of these exchanges as part of our efforts to reduce conflicts between people and wildlife and to help both adapt to the great changes coming to the Arctic.